At the start of the movie, we see a boy named Jun Wu waking up and seeing the time on his phone. Jun Wu lives in his house with his parents and sister. And he is very fond of playing video games. He plays online games all day. He calls his mother after getting up but his mother and sister have gone out somewhere. After drinking the water, he notices that his mother has left him a list and some money to bring some essentials. But he turns on his computer and starts playing the game. While playing the game, his friend tells him that a piece of strange news is circulating on the TV. He immediately initiates the TV and watches the news. He becomes shocked after watching the news on the TV. It is revealed that a strange virus has spread throughout Seoul City where he lives. Further, in the news, it is told that the infected people are eating and killing each other and they are just behaving like wild wolves. Authorities have advised the survived people not to come out of the house unless they receive any help as the situation is out of the control of the government. After listening to this news he peeks out of his balcony and becomes scared as some zombies on the road were eating and killing the people. Those who are left are escaping from there by boarding their cars. Now as soon as he comes inside from the balcony his neighbor forcibly enters his house and he tells him that all the people in the apartment have become zombies. He further tells that his brother has also been killed and asks his permission to use his washroom. Jun Wu starts watching the TV again after his neighbor enters the washroom. It is further informed in the news that infected people start showing cannibalistic nature in a short time. Their face turns absolutely white and blood starts pouring and making their eyes red. His neighbor transforms into a zombie after coming out of the washroom and starts attacking Jun Wu. Somehow Jun Wu succeeds in getting him out and fortifies the door by putting his fridge in front of the door. His mobile gets a message from his mother. She wants confirmation that their son is alright, as well as asking her son to stay alive. Jun Wu affixes a sticky note to his parents' photo, through which motivation to be alive remains inside him. He looks at his phone and notices that the people who have survived are posting their status and location on social media sites so that they can be rescued. Jun Wu also does the same by writing stay alive on a cardboard paper and uploading it to the internet, seeking help from the rescue team. The whole area around him is devastated by the zombies and he comes to know the situation when he inserts his phone into his drone. The zombies were roaming around everywhere. The special thing about the zombies shown in this film is that the people who got infected and transformed into zombies do not forget their skills or daily routine work. In the area where Jun Wu stays, all mobile networks and the internet were gradually shutting down. But luckily the power supply was still intact in his apartment. He turns on his TV and sees that the same news was being repeated again and again on the TV screen. Seeing it Jun Wu gets very upset. He displays help with cello tape on his balcony window. He hears someone screaming during the night and he finds a police officer fighting with a zombie when he approaches the balcony. But the zombie takes her aside to feed on her. Jun Wu wants to help her so he throws a glass bottle at her to distract the zombie. Unfortunately, the zombie kills her. But the sound generated by throwing the bottle attracts a big zombie and it barges into his house. Jun Wu enacts as if he had jumped but in reality, he hangs from the balcony. That zombie comes running and falls down from the balcony, resulting in its death. In this way, Jun Wu narrowly escapes from his death once again. But the fridge which was kept at the door as a barrier falls down, as a result, the food kept in the fridge gets spoiled. Both food and water get exhausted. Now if he doesn't get any help, his survival chances are dismal. The next day he thinks that he could get help through the radio. But for that, he needs a headphone audio wire with a 3.5mm jack. Unfortunately, all his headphones are wireless and due to it, he could not take its help. Now when he has nothing left to eat, he starts drinking his father's whiskey and starts dancing. He starts to dream about his mother and sister in an inebriated state. He feels as if his mother had come home, but it was just his hallucinations. He falls on the floor weeping loudly and falls asleep crying on the floor. The next day when Jun Wu wakes up, he notices that the mobile network has been restored on his phone. And he starts receiving messages. 
Jun Wu receives a voice message from his family in which his mother tells him that she was in his father's office and just then they were attacked by zombies after which they too were also killed. This news makes him very angry and he starts breaking everything in the house. Later he comes out of their house to confront zombies. But after coming out, he soon realizes that he had made a big mistake. Immediately he goes back into his home to save himself from zombies. The next day Jun Wu's courage starts to run out and he thinks to hang himself because he does not want to die as a zombie. He starts to hang himself, at that very moment, someone from his front building hits a laser on him and he comes to know that there is another survivor in the opposite building. After this, he immediately takes the rope hanging from his neck and comes out to see that person. He sees that a girl is left alive in his front apartment and that girl's name is Yuvin. After this, they both start talking among themselves through signals, Yuvin is a sharp and brave girl. She even placed a trap in the front door of her house in which a zombie gets trapped and she kills it. After this, she feels very guilty because she is a very good girl at heart. When Yuvin realizes that Jun Wu is hungry she throws a rope tied with a ball to help him. But Yuvin misses the target. And the ball falls on the ground. Jun Wu ties a rope from his balcony to hers with the help of his drone. And Yuvin sends food for him. After eating the food, Jun Wu sees that an infected person who is a firefighter starts climbing toward Yuvin's balcony with the help of the rope that was thrown by Yuvin. He pulls the rope that had been tied to Yuvin's table. And the table hits Yuvin making her faint. While on the other side, the firefighter starts to climb towards Yuvin's window with the help of the rope. Jun Wu distracts the zombie's attention by sending his drone towards him to help her. But a lot of zombies come to his door trying to break the door which distracts Jun Wu's attention from the drone and the firefighter zombie breaks his drone. When we notice the firefighter zombie climbing into her window Yuvin immediately cuts his hand with an axe and knocks him down. While on the other hand, Jun Wu decides that he will go to his neighbor's flat to find food and goes inside the flat next to his. There he finds food, water and walkie-talkie. The owner of that flat looks very adventurous and Jun Wu gets a lot of goods useful for him. The owner of the flat has also become a zombie. And suddenly attacks him. But Jun Wu survives this time too. Now he sends food and a walkie-talkie to Yuvin. Both talk to each other with the help of a walkie-talkie for several days, during the conversation Yuvin says that she is very scared of heights. Jun Wu also seems to be happier than before. Both keep containers on their windows so as to collect rainwater. One day, many zombies start entering the apartment, but on the other hand, they both feel as if it is raining outside. Unknowingly some stuff gets dropped due to Yuvin's hand and all the zombies start gathering at her door due to the sound. Jun Wu distracts them by calling the landline number of the house next to her, which makes all the zombies move to another house. After this incident, both of them decide that if they still live in this area then both of them would be killed. Yuvin tells Jun Wu that she has not seen anyone on the 8th floor of his apartment and we must go there for food and water. Yuvin jumps down from the balcony with the help of a rope. She reaches the ground and starts fighting with zombies. Seeing this Jun Wu gets shocked but when he sees that Yuvin needs his help. He also comes down. Both of them fight fiercely with zombies and somehow reach the 8th floor by the lift, unfortunately, we notice many zombies there. Both of them get saved when a man arrives there and takes them to his house. On the other hand, Yuvin suspects the man from the beginning itself. He offers food and water to both of them and assures them that he has sufficient food till the arrival of the helicopter. Later, they both eat food and after eating food, both of them feel very strange. They suspect that something has been mixed in the food. Before they could do anything, they both faint one by one and the man ties their hands. Actually, that man's wife has transformed into a zombie and he throws Yuvin into her room so that her zombie wife could feed on her. Fortunately, Jun Wu restores his consciousness. And he sees a rope in his hand which is tied to his wife. He aims the gun at him to save Yuvin. But it has no effect on the man because he is just mad at her wife's love. After which the man and Jun Wu start fighting with each other. Initially, we hear a scream from Yuvin but after some time it stops. So the man opens the door and suddenly. 
Yuvan throws his wife over him. And after that, the man's wife kills her husband and starts eating. After this, Yuvan shoots them both with a gun. Hearing the sound of the bullet firing, all of the zombies start coming over there. Yuvan tells Jun Wu that she doesn't want to become a zombie. So she asks Jun Wu to shoot her. Jun Wu agrees to her wish and as soon as he tries to shoot her, they hear the sound of the chopper. They both get a ray of hope to save themselves once again. Both of them begin to go to the apartment's terrace, fighting with the zombies. By the time they reach the terrace, the helicopter departs. Many zombies come breaking the door at the terrace and move towards attacking both of them. Jun Wu starts killing zombies with his gun, and both start waiting for some miracle. Both of them were trying to save their lives. Then suddenly a military helicopter arrives there and starts shooting all the zombies, eventually, their lives get spared. When the helicopter exits that area, the network and internet service becomes active. Both were happy to see their friends' messages and calls. After this, they start watching each other.